Okay, here we go. Exhaust port tips and tricks. Uh, one of the first things I'm going to do, um, I'm going to scribe the port on each side and with the piston at top dead center, I'm going to scribe the bottom of the port onto the piston. I remove the cylinder and I think we can see the marks right right there there's a width mark there's one on this side as well over here and right there is the mark for the bottom of the exhaust port <coughs> okay now I take all of that into consideration when I'm doing this for, for a few reasons one is I want to keep the piston supported so from the factory from here to here supports the side of the piston but from here to here supports the entire piston okay on this particular piston if you have a full circle piston or what I call a full circle piston because it goes all the way around you have all of the support all the way around the piston to support it and you don't need as much on the sides to support the piston on a piston like this one it has wings on it that help support the piston if you're going to have a piston that let's say we only have a very small amount down here that's um, supporting or, or, or where the exhaust port opens at down here uh, coverage or overlap then we have to consider how much overlap we need on the side of the piston to support it if you have a lot of overlap down here you can go quite close to the edge here because uh, you don't really need to support the piston on the sides like this saw we have almost a quarter of an inch from that line to the bottom that's a that's a good overlap uh, to give a lot of support to the piston so we can we can move our port width out further and here I've made a mark it's kind of hard to see right there I've made a mark that's 50 thousandths of overlap so we can go out to that pretty easily if we want to now the other thing is, is that we want to stay on a work saw about 65 percent of the bore so I've measured the bore and it was 2.204 times 65 percent is 1.432 now I've put this sanding block down into the cylinder and I've marked it for the whole port shape. You can't really see that, but here it is here. And it measures 1.316. So we can go, oh, I don't know, oh, 100,000 plus wider if we want to, if we can. The skirt width isn't that wide so we really can't so what we're going to do is we're going to port that out to this line that gives me 50 thousandths overlap <clears throat> so in order for me to do that I take this mandrel marked right and I'll start to port the cylinder on the side of the port let's see a little wider maybe 
this much wider. Now measure that with the calipers from this side to that to that mark that I'm changing it to and I'll do one side at a time and keep track of how much I'm making it wider. Then I'll do the other side to get my total port width that I allowed using this piston. So the original mark there is about 130 thousandths from the edge to the mark and this is 50 thousandths so we can we can widen uh, each side about you know 50 thousandths or so 80 thousandths and it'll get, give, get us close to 65% uh, but not quite there pretty close um, the other thing is is about when you're widening exhaust port is you got to take into consideration the transfer ports so this is a block I use for cutting my transfer ports and it's roughly the same height as a transfer port there uh, this cylinder is not ported but you look at the port shape and if the port doesn't open fully before the transfer port opens there is no reason to make the port wider uh, this port opens fully uh, quite a bit before the transfer is open so making it wider holding some of the shape or changing some of the shape um, will allow it to uh, be fully open before the transfer ports open um, I think I've covered about everything on that that I want uh, when I when I do this I grind it one side of the port first and I keep sliding this back in there so I can keep measuring and then I mark it and then I do the other side the same way uh, off of that mark I line up the mark on this side I look at the other side um, that'll give me my port width and I, I'll double check that on to back onto the piston now and then to make sure that I'm within reason of what I'm trying to do hope it all helps you